It is time now to imagine it on 946 on this Saturday, July 5th. We've got Carl Nelson, who is the chief scientist at the Imagination Station. We've got David Hubby, who is actually from Sylvania. He's going into third grade, and he knows about science. And bubbles. And bubbles. And bubbles. The bubbles of science. The science of bubbles? One of those. All right. <laughs> so, you know, 4th of July is over. It's time. I think it's time for bubbles, something you can do at home. Right. And you could go out and buy bubble solution, but why? It's so easy. Right. All right. And so he's, he's putting the bubble, big bubble <laughs> business out of business. That's, so. that's right. <laughs> so, you know, with everything, you want to start with quality ingredients. So we're going to start with some distilled water. Now, distilled water, I'm just pour a little bit out there because um, we're going to add some soap here. But yeah. the distilled water has no dissolved minerals in it. So it's great to make really long lasting bubbles. And then, David, what kind of soap do we like to use? Dawn. We like to use Dawn. So go ahead and add about half that container of Dawn soap to our gallon jug of water. And that's about 14 ounces or so. And you know, the measurements aren't perfectly exact. As long as you get about 14 to 12 ounces in there, that'll be good, or half a container. That's part of experimenting, as you like to say. Absolutely. And you don't need to worry. Don't get the microbial, antimicrobial, the flavored, the scented, the whatever. <laughs> Just plain old Dawn soap is perfect. That is excellent. Now, our final secret ingredient, David, what do we use? Glycerin. Glycerin. And the gl <laughs> go ahead and dump the glycerin in. You can find glycerin in like the lotions aisle of m most stores. Okay. And you're just gonna dump the whole container right there in, about goes. four to eight ounces. Yeah. And what that does is something really cool. David, what does the glycerin help us out with? Well, it helps us make the bubbles stay longer. They don't evaporate quicker. Exactly, the glycerin gets in there and stops the water from evaporating, which is so cool. Okay, now this stuff, that's perfect. This stuff is like a fine wine. It'll age, <laughs> it'll age nicely for a day, and then it'll work great. Okay? Don't, dr don't drink it. Right? You could use it right away if you want. <laughs> right. Use it right away, but let it age for a day. And that's what I've done already. I'm have to card you, David. Tony, I'll All give right. you a wand. David, I'm gonna give you a wand right here. Why don't you go ahead and see, it? this is stuff from yesterday that I mixed up. Go ahead and see how big of a bubble you can make with that stuff. Boop. So wave the wand, there you go. Oh, look at that. And you is gotta that, like, you gotta pinch it you, off. You really gotta, so. yo, crazy. <laughs> Yeah, and you can see, that even the wands, there's a subtle little thing. I wrapped some string around the wand, and that, I don't know, why, why would we care about that, David? The string on the wands. Well, it helps more of the bubble solution, solution stay on, so you don't have to dip it every single time. Exactly, so you can make ginormous bubbles. All right, speaking of big bubbles, I think we gotta get over to the biggest right. one we have Come here. on over, David. We're gonna see if we can wrap you inside a bubble. Oh boy, he's right, gonna be a, a really bubble boy big this bubble. So come Check on over, out. hop up on that stool. And I've got a hula hoop down inside here. We're going to take this off, maybe? Yeah, you know, I didn't think about the microphone, so maybe All we should right. pop that right out. We've got to improvise, David, so speak loudly. All right, so here we go. <laughs> hula hoop. Stick your hand straight up over your head, David. Let's see if we can get the bubble to go. Wow! Hey, he's all the way in the bubble. So, <laughs> I mean, if you have one of these kiddie pools at home, what a cool thing you can do, right? Let's try it one more time. He's all centered up now. All right. Hey. There we go. Can you hear me in there? <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. How's that feel? Just like a cool breeze? <laughs> Lemony fresh? Look at that. Yeah. That is nice. Wow. The adding that glycerin really helps make the bubble strong. And letting it age for a day, you can get wow. some really, really big bubbles. And then you can fill up your kiddie pool, try this at home. Wrap a rope around a hula hoop, and boom, you've got yourself your own bubble in your backyard. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much fun. We just got to keep doing it. Hey, if you want to head down to the Imagination Station, they are at One Discovery Way. They are open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5, Sunday from noon to 5, and all kinds of summer fun down there with Carl Nelson and David. Hey, thanks again for coming down here, David. Wow, that one's really lasting a long time. <laughs> that is this week's Imagine It, and from there we're going to go over to sports.